Good afternoon, H3 Cruises, and welcome back to the channel. So you see the thumbnail, you see the title. Yes, we have some breaking news today regarding Carnival Imagination. So without further ado, we're going to get right to today's episode. Okay guys, like I mentioned in the intro, uh, you see the title, you see the thumbnail, you know what we're going to talk about. But before we get into that, I want to remind you guys that if you like the content in today's episode, make sure you smash that thumbs up button below. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe. In just 11 days, my brother and I will be on board Carnival Splendor, bringing you plenty of daily vlogs along with the ship uh, videos as well. And it's going to be great videos, so make sure you are subscribed for that. And lastly, to show your support for the channel, don't skip those ads and make sure you share the videos that you like with other people who may like these videos. Now on to the topic, Carnival Imagination, which is currently docked in Ensenada today, September 3rd, 2019. Now, while docked in Ensenada, the ship had a fire on board. Yes, it's one of the most dangerous things to possibly happen on a cruise ship. Luckily, it was docked. Luckily, the fire is out. And luckily, no one was injured. Now, we do have one of our very own H3 cruiser, Scott Ferris, who sent us this video. Now, as you see in the video, the smoke is just coming right out of the funnel like crazy. It was definitely a significant fire down there. Uh, it was in the boiler room. It happened during a safety drill because what better time to have a fire on board than while you're already having a safety drill, right? No, it's never good to have a fire on board a ship, and hopefully it never happens to you. But they do happen. Luckily, the fire repressant system has put out the fire pretty quickly. Uh, when it happened, the crew went running towards the funnel, went down into the boiler room. Uh, like I said, the uh, fire repressant put out the fire pretty quickly as it dumped 1,000 gallons of fire repressants onto this fire. Now, I want to talk about that for a moment because that fire repressant has flooded the electrical system. Now, I am giving you this information as it was given to me. There may be updates or some changes, so if anything comes out of it, I will make another video updating you guys on the details then. But as of right now, as far as we've heard, is that the fire repressant has flooded the electrical system, which is also what controls the propulsion system. So... Hopefully there is no issues with propulsion and hopefully she can get back to uh, Long Beach on uh, Thursday and start her next journey with the three-day cruise for everyone who's ready for this weekend's booze cruise on Carnival Imagination. Uh, as far as we know right now, everything should be fine. Uh, they got to get take care of that flooding down there and hopefully none of the electrical system was really messed up. That's all we can hope for. But like I said, as more uh, information comes out, I will try to put out some more information for you, uh, whether here or on the Facebook page at H3 Family Vlogs or even in our Facebook group, which is H3 Cruiser. So make sure you're up on there. Now, uh, I want to hear your comments below. Have you ever been on a ship uh, and the fire's broken out? Uh, how was it handled? Uh, were you guys notified of what was going on? Uh, just all the comments below. Leave them uh, and everything like that. So other than that, guys, there's not much more information I can give you at the moment. Uh, the fire is out, like I said. It flooded the electrical system. All we can do is hope that the propulsion system is still ready to go today at 5.30 or whenever it leaves uh, Ensenada today. Actually, I think Ensenada is a little later. Uh, and she's got her sea day tomorrow. So on the worst case scenario, she will be sailing back nice and slowly and still make it down to Long Beach uh, on Thursday rather than having tomorrow where she sits still in the ocean. But guys, leave your comments, leave the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and I will see you in the next vlog. Take care, everyone. I'm out.